Leading up to, you know, upcoming season here in 22, I mean, obviously you got a lot of work to do in the off season, just like every program. Who are some players on your team that you're excited about and that people should be looking for? Well, we've got a lot of talent coming back. Um, you know, the, the, the names that people are going to hear about, the guys that I think are going to be highly recruited. Uh, Jamison Mejia uh, is a left tackle for us, uh, huge frame, very athletic, and he really kind of came into his own about midseason this year. A guy that I think is going to end up on a D1 roster. One name that uh, most people know about already is a guy named Dietrich Moore. Uh, he got hurt in the Ed Edmond Santa Fe game, uh, had had a phenomenal season up to that point, and, and we're looking for big things from him. Uh, very gifted, very special athlete that I think is going to make a big splash in the recruiting world. Uh, this facility is second to none. Uh, you know, obviously the weight room, the indoor, uh, you know, when weather's not great, we, we never have an issue with coming in here and getting the work done we need to get done. Uh, this weight room, uh, these, these players spend more time in here than they do anywhere else. We even feed them in here. I mean, they, they literally uh, breathe, lift, eat. Uh, everything they do is in this, this room. Uh, we've got a strength staff that I think is phenomenal. They do a great job. Our coaching staff, uh, you know, in the off season, they're strength coaches. Uh, so this is where they live and, and we're blessed to have this, this facility. You know, our numbers are huge um, and that's a good thing. Um, it's also the challenge that you face. Um, we're fortunate to have a big staff. Um, we have a, a great uh, a youth organization that does a phenomenal job, uh, great facilities even for those youth guys. Uh, connecting with them is critical and building that vertical alignment that you want to have throughout your whole program. I have a great eighth grade staff, a great great ninth grade staff, uh, and then our varsity staff is, is big enough that we can manage the numbers. Uh, community's huge, and that was the most attractive thing about taking this job, to be honest with you. I, I, and I said it to everybody that would listen, it's about the people. Uh, not only the people from top down administratively uh, that are genuine and sincere and, and want the best for our kids, um, but this community, as big as we are, it feels like a small town uh, vibe. Um, everybody's plugged in. I think the secret to that is making sure we plug into the community. Um, and then there's a, an aspect, especially these days, uh, with social media the way it is and the attention that everybody's trying to get, of even recruiting your own kids um, and keeping them in BA. Um, I've got a little idea. I'm going to create a patch that will go on their future letter jacket at BA uh, that I want to go, you know, house by house and award to some top kids you know, K through sixth, uh, K through seventh, all the way before they transition into school ball. Biggest and the toughest challenge of the transition, I think, from youth football to school ball is the academic side and the accountability that comes with that. Uh, you know, just because you want to play on game day uh, doesn't mean you get to if your grades aren't where they're supposed to be. And, and teaching kids that as early as possible is, is a big deal. I think the, the promotion uh, aspect of, of getting your guys that want to play at the next level uh, that exposure is a key piece, uh, especially in today's uh, environment. Um, you know, I think it's critical for parents to see you actively doing that. Um, it's just another gesture, uh, honestly, of, of showing uh, the parents and the families that you're doing everything you can to give them the opportunities that they've earned. Um, I think the most important piece is the relationship aspect. Um, you know, when college coaches want to reach out, your word means something. Uh, so if you stand on the table for a guy and say, this guy's gonna make an impact in your program this way, um, you know, that, that, that's gotta mean something. Um, and so I don't take that lightly. I don't take that responsibility lightly. Um, we wanna put everybody out there that has a desire to play college football um, because you never know the match. You never know the, uh, how the fit is going to be for each individual. And so you promote them all. Um, but then what it really boils down to is, is your word and that relationship that you have with those other coaches.